The plane carrying President Uhuru Kenyatta and his entourage touched down at the Oli Airport on Tuesday evening. <laughs> president was then received by the French host President Emmanuel Macron. <laughs> Upon his arrival at the palace, President Uhuru Kenyatta inspected a guard of honor mounted by the French military at the start of an elaborate state reception ceremony. One of the biggest discussions and the most, one of the most important discussions that we're going to have on this particular trip is the commuter railway between the CBD and JKIA airport. Our aspiration is to see that this commuter railway project, first of all, eases traffic in Nairobi, but it also eases movement of people within Nairobi. The two heads of state then witnessed the signing of the three bilateral agreements before leading their delegation at a state banquet hosted in honor of the visiting Kenya leader. Later, the two leaders retreated for a private talks. Professor Wahungu, the Kenyan ambassador to France, said President Kenyatta's visit follows President Macron's historic visit to Nairobi in March last year, the first such a visit by the serving French head of state. Another important project that's going to be discussed here, of course, is the uh, Nairobi Nakuru Mau uh, Highway. This is going to be a dual carriage highway, and as all of you know, this particular highway is congested at the moment. So we hope that extending this highway, which is going to be about 200 kilometers, again, it will ease traffic on that particular very, very important route. On the PPP agreement for the construction of the Nairobi Nakuru Mau Summit six lane dual carriage, the ambassador said that the mega project will help decongest the existing highway and enhance efficiency of the cargo transport to Western Kenya and onwards into the export markets of East and Central Africa. This is a major highway that connects Mombasa, Nairobi and all the way to Uganda, Rwanda, and other parts of Central Africa. So this is a very important uh, highway. Today, President Uhuru Kenyatta will deliver a keynote address at the BPI France Inner Generation 2020 Business Forum. The European country's largest international innovation and entrepreneurship extravaganza, which brings together hundreds of French companies to explore investment opportunities abroad. If you look at some of these French companies and to see how are Kenyans benefiting from these French companies, we have very many Kenyan uh, personnel, especially in the tech field, that are doing extremely well at the helm of the frontiers of technology here in France. When it comes to French citizens working in Kenya, there are very many. When it comes to Kenyan citizens working in Kenya, we have over 2,500. Our relationship is definitely growing from strength to strength. Tomorrow, Friday, 2nd October, President Kenyatta will preside over the Kenya-France Business Forum organized by the French Business Confederation. Angela Cheror, K24 TV.